soul tribe welcome to your divine guidance reading where we are spiritual as fuck if we haven't met yet my name is high priestess barry psychic medium and divine channeler hoping to bring you a message now always remember my messages are candid unscripted but they're also timeless so please tap into your instincts listen to your intuition if there's anything that i talk about that doesn't make any sense totally fine do not worry about it this message may not be for you but you're always welcome to stick around and enjoy the show oh, I feel like some of you guys might have hit a wall with something or more so hit a wall with somebody like whoever it is that we need to talk to today like oh it, it sounds like a love affair kind of got started dirty little secret a little sex fix something on the down low I'm getting the impression that something didn't quite work out the way that you had hoped I'm hearing someone like just trying to say to themselves it's like what like I keep trying to look for love I know I'm a loving person I know I work hard at being a good lover a good partner a good friend good whomever but what is it that I'm missing because at the top we have suffering in silence this is actually a very recent energy that did come out where it says unspoken desires real feelings broken dreams like you know this is a bit of that ugh, 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 frustration especially when it's like why do I have to ask the question out loud? <laughs> There's this little bit of a low-key mania going on. Happiness, joy, healing. But if I'm seeing this in context with love affair today, you know, good vibes now, be in the moment. Um, now, I get the sense that, oh, let's get one more card here, exhausted. Like, you've been masking. Like, it's sort of as though you've been pouring your all into this you know, love affair, this relationship, even if it was something like, I didn't look for strings attached. I was trying to keep things kind of fun and casual. Like I wasn't trying to scare anybody off or anything like that. And it's sort of like, I didn't even make their problems my problems. Why am I so exhausted? Why am I not actually happy? Why do I feel suddenly really burned out with the situation? So, you know, we got to grab some romance angels. Forgive him learning. Let's uh, go ahead and get those uh shuffled but um no i'm actually being told for these cards here to just to get three to kind of compliment uh what is going on because this just sounds like you know th this doesn't feel like a serious relationship this just feels like something fun you know i've i've talked to a lot of parents like you know i've been down the polyamorous uh pathway like it's sort of like if you're like a single parent and it's like you don't have time to be in a committed relationship sometimes it's nice just to have fun with somebody where it's like we don't have to involve the kids it's sort of like taking like a mini vacation like you know a couple times per month free yourself and underneath there we do have career and finances and it's sort of like i'll take my responsibilities like you know we'll always pay dutch which you know like you know split the bill half and half like i'm just looking for a friend with benefits kind of kind of thing codependency oh shit so i codependency flirt Ugh. um Oh man, it's sort of like flirting with the idea of codependency. Let's get a little, de little bit deeper. Ooh, suddenly go a little low in the voice right here. It's time to get to know each other. But I get the sense, like if I see, let's see, getting to know each other. Whoa, these two came out together. Make the effort and trust. It's, again, I think this is somebody brand new that, um, or at least when it started off, like, um... It was just nice to get to know somebody. It just felt good where it's like you can trust this person that maybe like if you don't ask too much of them, you don't ask for too much effort that they might make an effort of themselves. Like it, it's an ass backwards way of thinking about this. And like in some ways, I kind of don't blame you for thinking this way. It's sort it's another way of maybe seeing this as like, you didn't want to put the burden of commitment onto somebody, but you were hoping in exchange that, you know, you could get something out of this, but something hasn't been spoken about. It's, it's like you withheld a lot of yourself. You withheld, um, information. And again, not in the, 
not in a sinister kind of way. It's just the, I don't want to, I don't want to bother somebody with my problems. I'm trying to take ownership of the situation. Like you're a really, really well-meaning individual and you're probably low-key pissed because like you were trying your best to be non-karmic about it that's i think that's the best way i can phrase it right now like you're just trying your best to you know have a little bit of fun to add a little something to your life add a little sauce add a little spice to your life and uh, it, it's difficult because again you didn't want to make your problems their problems but you're frustrated because you feel like the universe probably should have rewarded you for taking ownership of those emotions. Oh, this is a very interesting um, situation that you're in. Five of Pentacles. This can be a little bit of that breakup energy, but it's this also could easily just be being at the dinner table and like what's underneath here? If Five of Wands in the reverse, it's kind of like being at the dinner table and like you have nothing really to talk about. It's sort of a, all you do is just exchange different memes with each other. Like the relationship doesn't really have any particular depth to it. It's not necessarily that you think it's a bad thing, but there's just something happened. And I think there's been a lot of masking, especially if Hmm. Especially if this person just kind of up and left. Like you're trying to be minimal effort. You weren't asking much for them, but they somehow still found you exhausting. Oh, damn. Like I feel that. That hurts. Um, what could we get in terms of clarity? <laughs> we gotta go with some pulp tarot. There's a queen of pentacles. Like, it's like, I am the queen. I rule the world. Wait, where are you intimidated? <laughs> Let's go ahead and uh, shuffle that. You know, I got this like four of cups, like, you know, for the cut. Um, like that particular four of cups is very like head desk. Like there, there's someone who's really in their feels right now. And I think part of it is that your body is feeling it, but you don't know how to mentally process this right now. I just had a bunch of cards fall out. Oh, okay, so uh, we got the moon. Aww. Whoa, 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 okay. We, uh, uh, whoa, like I'm so scrambled right now. Like this actually probably threw you for a loop. This is probably something that might have suddenly happened. Uh, mm. Wow, okay, well, we'll have to work through this for what it's worth because every time I sit within your energy, it's like, what? Like, you're seriously confused right now, especially this, I think that these cards are designed to kind of confirm, it's like, what well, what actually happened where you were just the low key, nice, happy, I'll just be your, you know, I'll be your side piece. Like, you know, you, you kind of agreed to it and suddenly you're the one who's exhausting them. Like, that's, that's why this moon is right here. It's like, there's a piece of the puzzle that you're not seeing, so. Um, okay, I'm literally making up this this spread as I go. What's at the base of the deck? Five of swords. Like, like I'm seeing line drawn in the sand, and it's sort of like one small blowout. It's kind of like you had one simple little argument. Maybe you decided for once just to ask for something. Maybe just to maybe spice things up or, you know, ask for an exception to a rule. Like it's sort of as though you allowed your own rules to be bent. Like if I'm tuning in to say like a single parent, um, it would be sort of like if you're a single parent, but you're co-parenting, but you don't live together, right? It's like, okay, like, you know, I'm constantly renegotiating my, my dates with this person and my ex, like, you know, they're being nice about it, but I don't want to push the limits with the ex and I still want to be a good parent about this. Oh yeah. Okay. And then it's sort of like, then the person cancels at the last second as though they're not respecting your time. And the moment you decide to speak up and say, Hey, is there any way I can get some consistency so that I can healthfully book like dates with you? They somehow made it your problem and you're probably really offended right now too. So I'm not going to cut the pulp tarot and I'm feeling very dizzy right now. So 
you know, as I go to cut um, the Modern Witch to kind of dive into the story and see what kind of guidance we can get for you, make sure your feet are planted on the ground, especially if you really feel as though you've been sideswiped by this person's sudden shift of behavior, especially, again, this is a, more than likely a relationship you've overgiven to. There's this Queen of Swords energy, which that is the constructive criticism, and I think some of this is your energy. In a lot of ways, you decided to just speak up for yourself. You weren't even being emotional about it, like you had your emotions, but again, you were kind of masking it and sort of keeping it underneath the surface. It's sort of like the best way possible you can think about managing your bullshit. But what's underneath here? Two of Pentacles. There's that, like, you know, trying to find some balance on what else wants to peek out through. We got the devil. Like, this relationship has actually been very disorientating. And in some ways, um, before we even get into the message, the divine wants to point out to you that um, you've been overcompensating and you assumed that you were maintaining balance but all you've done is just try to manage two people's emotions rather than just yourself like let, like what's this fucker's excuse what's going on around you right now king of cups six of swords like oh like it's it's one of these things where it's like i want to be angry at this person and it's difficult because it's not as though they're emotionally immature, but I, I'm suspicious. I think your point of view of this person has been heavily colored. So I'm going to grab the Rainbow Tarot. Um, oh no okay yeah rainbow tarot not the rainbow oracle let me get our little deck here we got you know we got the world Le Mag. can you give me a little bit of clarity like what okay like divine we need like you know guides we need your perspective on whoever this individual is because you know my viewer here is really fucking confused like you know they are telling you we really do need to seek out uh some therapy um because actually one way or the other like we'll we'll look at this person's intentions in a second but um if there is a chance that you resonate with with the narrative saying that um you were overcompensating for both of your guys' emotions that you know even though there were things that you didn't like you didn't really speak it aloud you just put on a smiling face hoping that okay it'll be fine they'll uh like, you know, I'm not going to make their problems my problems. And they still picked up exhausting energy off of you. The difficult part is first trying to figure out what's wrong with me. Like, first of all, that is actually an okay question to ask yourself in any situation. But I think you may be the type of person who's over apologetic for other people's behaviors. There we go. Four of Wands, um, which is a celebration. Like, it's sort of like, well, I, I've made a lot of exceptions for you like could you make an exception with me like especially if they didn't want anything to do with your family but um you kind of invited them out to like a barbecue and it something got weird like uh, there's something about they mistook a quite mistook an action as though you were trying to level up a relationship but what's here two of cups oh man okay two of cups king of cups oh my god going in circles eight of swords okay um what's underneath the four of wands three of swords and queen of wands i think this queen of wands is a little bit of you like especially if you do consider yourself to be a happy optimistic person but it's sort of as though it's kind of like, yeah, we're friends, but, like, why can't we post pictures of us on the internet? Like, why are you being so weird about something that shouldn't be weird at all? It's just sort of like this, you may have felt as though this person doesn't want to be seen around you. Okay, we need to uh, look at your side of the story next, just to kind of have a healthy weight out. I'm hearing a healthy weight out experience. Interesting. Nine of Wands in the reverse. King of... How many King of Cups are there? <laughs> like, this is a lot of masculine energy. It's sort of as though you've been acting as though 
like both of you been marrying each other is kind of the way that I'm sort of seeing it where um, both of you been trying to be emotionally mature. Both of you have been trying to do the same thing. Like this shouldn't be a surprise. Like both of you been like, well, I've got my things and I want to have some fun. I do enjoy your company, but um, I, I, I have a lot of issues or I have a lot of things going on and I just want to make sure I don't make it a burden. Like, let's just make this a really easy friends with benefits type thing. Like, I really feel as though you both were mutual. So it means I have to look at the six of swords versus the nine of wands. And this is one of those things where this person kept constantly trying to, um, cancel things out, like not allow the emotions to set in. This is a little bit of cancellation and it's not as though they didn't feel bad about it, but it's one of these things where their idea of taking responsibility, their idea of taking emotional responsibility is, I'm just not going to think about it. Like, I'm just going to go on to the next thing. And you might have been hurt, worried that, don't you understand that I have feelings? Don't you understand that I have been... Um, holding back from maybe being mean to you. Like, is that, there's a really good chance that um, this is a, a bit of a trauma bond relationship that the divine wants to have sort of an even Steven conversation with it. And it'd be really funny if your person's name was Steven. I always have a theory that everyone in the world, like, you know, at some point they have a friend named Steve who offer, who's like their drug dealer. <laughs> no idea why that's like my weird stupid theory because everyone i know somehow has a drug dealer named steven anyways i digress but it's like this was more like even if you don't do substances this person was a bit of a love drug like you both are like you know in your masculine energy yeah i'm gonna take responsibility i'm working on my own wealth working on my own thing but the way that you guys handle conflict is completely incompatible this person just kind of glazes over their thoughts it is what it is and you hold yourself back because you actually are hurt you actually are annoyed and you're actually putting extra stress upon yourself um you know having to negotiate for time off and then the time off not being available and then feeling embarrassed and annoyed that you have to go back and undo or redo the plans like you know kings are the type where you know they're so busy they need like an assistant like a you know it's sort of as though you know you're not important enough in the world to have an executive assistant but you live the life in such a sh highly structured way that um, especially if you do have kids or if you have a job that's very demanding or you just have a very full calendar. You could just be a really fucking busy person for which I'm sorry you're going through this and I'm glad you can take a few minutes to listen to this message. I realize you don't really have a lot of time. Like in some ways I'm kind of just here to help you commiserate and weigh out what's going on, but I'm still shuffling so we're gonna have to just bear through it right now. Um, but I think a lot of this has to do with your idea of how you wish to express your emotions. And the problem is that people who don't know how to express themselves, they run off. And you may be feeling as though, well, I didn't go out of my way to press my emotions onto somebody else. Like, I like to stick through to it. I know. I see that. You're actually right here. This is a bit of the wounded warrior. And especially if there's a... Uh, an energy within you that makes you believe that you never give up, that you always commit through to things no matter what. And they, that might be actually part of the problem. I do have 10 of cups at the base over here, which is you really reconsidering what happiness actually means to you, especially if happiness resonates on a frequency where, oh, oh yeah, I shuffled the way the four of wands, where you enjoy showing people off. That's actually a very Leo energy, Leos. Like whether if you're a Leo or your person's a Leo or not, like the energy is optimistic. Let's have fun together. It's like no strings attached. Like you're here. We might as well make the most of it. Always look on the bright side of life. Do do, do do, do do, do do. Like, in a lot of ways, you may not have recognized that in your attempt to protect your boundaries, which in this case, like you actually put up a, a boundary on the wrong thing. Like you were trying your best to keep your emotions from being somebody else's problem. 
you remember I was talking earlier about the whole therapy thing? What's happening is that you don't know how to helpfully express your emotions to anybody. Like, especially if you know, you're accustomed to dumping, I'm sorry to use the word dump, but this is the image I'm being given. Like, you know, just going on the internet and just te- like, you know, putting out a post like, oh my God, I'm going through this. Or you can call your parents at any time and just like, you know, talk about this. But this is a very exhausting form of dumping our emotions onto other people. And it's actually extremely toxic and it's actually negative energy. You know, I was, I was out the other day and I'm listening to a mom talk to her son over the phone. And, you know, I could hear the mom. She's being all sympathetic. Yeah, son. Like, I know. Wow. Yeah. Like, maybe you should just take a break from work. Oh, really? Well, then maybe you should just focus on, well, you know, just take a deep breath. Like, this poor mom, like, you know, she probably was in her mid, uh, you know, mid to late 60s, was emotionally managing her son's energy over the phone you know i kind of beelined around her because i could totally i totally recognize this energy from a mile away and um as i left this this mom went up to the to the gal at the desk and then she started dumping all of this onto the gal behind the desk like oh my god my son he's 32 but like oh my god stop calling me about everything like you're the one who has the job you're the one who decided and all this mother is doing is dumping those emotions onto a complete stranger behind the desk and the complete stranger behind the desk is okay well i'm i'm kind of compensated to be here to listen to people whine bitch and moan so i guess i'm gonna take it until she goes to talk to somebody else this is um a negative flow of um emotional energy where you're taking on other people's burdens and not even realizing it and then you dump it into somebody else's lap what else do we have right here queen of swords like you know that's our queen that we have going on overall let's get one more card seven of cups like uh in some ways because you don't actually understand your own emotions and you don't know how to healthfully express them and be honest with yourself that means you actually do need to start looking up some uh um if you don't have access to therapy like i understand it is so fucking expensive um but there's a lot of stuff online you can talk about relationship attachment styles you can look up things when it comes to limerence how to have healthier behaviors when it comes to relationships not just romantic relationships but how you relate to you know your siblings your children you know your spouse in this case the ex-spouse the parents the friends whomever whomever um you both are actually dealing with the same problem and as much as it might hurt you to hear this they feel the exact same way about you you are exhausted by the their lack of consideration but they're also exhausted um they're also exhausted like just in general and it had nothing to do with you in the first place, but because this person shuts down their thoughts and they're like, I'm just not going to think about it. Like this is a, 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 a very emotionally shut down individual, but you are the opposite. You are very overwhelmed and you are almost explosive. Like both of you are dealing with the opposite spectrum of depression. That's probably more than likely what it is that both of you guys are going through. Because, yeah, underneath the Ten of Cups with a Ten of Swords, that's depression. That's not recognizing you are unhappy. That's not you taking time just to acknowledge from within that you're dissatisfied with a situation. That you don't feel comfortable with expressing what it is that you feel. And it... Because... If you express what you feel, you know you're dumping your emotions. There's a lot of healing in here. We'll get into the guidance in a second. But um, start working with Archangel Michael. Like, start looking up what this means. Like, you can subscribe to the, you know, the Roman God action figure. You could just look up as a, you know, general guidance. Like, find your own style. There are many different ways of understanding angelic energy, especially if you were raised like me, where angels weren't really a thing. I know I'm Christian, but I'm not that kind of Christian. It was Jesus and, or nothing. Like, especially if you had a limited religious upbringing or belief system upbringing that made you vilify certain spiritual modalities. Like, for me, angels and prayer, like, those those are two things that Barry still struggles to, struggles with un- 
to this day. But um, Archangel Michael like takes his orders from God, which is the true version of who you actually are. There's a lot of healing within your throat chakra that you need to start working on because if you're unable to admit even to yourself how you actually feel, like you aren't able to release it. To speak it aloud is to release a spell. And there's actually some kind of reverse engineering on how it is that you suppress your emotions, keep your emotions back, hide your tongue. But that also leads to anger. And if you're someone who is prone to like outbursts of anger, like, you, you know, I suddenly feel this like shudder and like just wanting to explode. And a lot of you guys work very hard to make sure you don't take it out on your own children. So like, here's the thing, you're over managing everybody else's uh, your perception of how everybody else is going to feel or react if you actually expose to the world how it is you actually feel. Holy fuck, what's the guidance right now? Three of Wands in the reverse, two of Pentacles in the reverse. Um, you're okay, first of all, you're depressed. You are amongst friends, trust me. Like we are a tribe of survivors and somehow we've all lived to tell the tale. Um, but there's actually a lesson within here when it helps you understanding what codependency is, especially when you flirt. Oh man, unrequited love and honeymoon are also underneath here along with give relationship a chance. Like if there's any guilt from the, a previous relationship where you felt as though you waited it out too long and there's some semblance of regret write it down on a piece of paper talk it with a professional talk to your rabbi or father confessor like you need to find someone healthy and impartial who can receive your words and receive what it is that you're actually trying to say because you knew there was something codependent about this relationship you flirted your way around your own intuition for a relationship where it's like well i can't have love out of it but you know i guess i could have a little fun and there's nothing wrong going into those relationships there's nothing wrong necessarily with having um uh, going into a love affair especially if it's like today ooh, underneath their clingy cutting ties and soulmate um the divine's just trying to show you that there's just a habit. This isn't about a person. This is about a habit of yours that has made you feel that it's okay to ignore how you actually feel. And, you know, sometimes relationships are just overnight. Sometimes relationships last a lifetime. Um, just because you find something intriguing about this individual, it doesn't mean they're obligated to stay within your energy. Because there's a version of you right now I, and I need to speak it aloud. Why? Because if we speak it aloud, it will disappear before Varys forgets about it. It needs to be said out loud. And there's a lot of fear and trepidation as though something will backlash on you. The only reason you're sticking around in this relationship in the first place is because you're too exhausted to put in the energy to find somebody better. This is you negotiating against your own manifestations. Let's get a little bit of clarity so we can dive deeper in. Um, if the person that you are interacting with, if they're not stable, if they are not consistent, then they're not for you. And that sucks. Like, you know, you go on a few dates and this seems really good, but you have to really honor as the person becomes more comfortable being around you, they become more comfortable with being themselves. And it's one of these things where you're learning how to be comfortable around this person. And once they sense the comfort, then they act exactly who it is that they are. But if you both have spent so much time suppressing your emotions and spending a lot of time just laughing, trying to have fun, trying to like, you know, keep things lighthearted, that actually is very exhausting because you're putting in the effort to hold down how it is you actually feel and then create excess narratives on top of that so that you don't actually have to say the right thing out loud. Like you're technically multitasking and you're draining your batteries like almost three times faster than if you were with someone who is just chill, someone who can be with you. So like you're being asked right now, it's okay to make a different choice. Like in some ways, the two of wands reminds you that it doesn't matter which path you take you'll still arrive at your destination. A lot of us here in California have to use like, you know, GPS in order to get around because freeways are a thing, plus traffic. But um, 
we always get at least two or three options. You know, this root over here has like, you know, takes 20 minutes. This root over here takes 25 minutes. Like it's gonna recommend the shorter route, but the shorter route, you don't know what's going on there. There be snakes and dragons for all you fucking know on the 20 minute road. But you're just being asked, it's okay to start embracing a bit of a course correction. Like, Part of this course correction requires you just to acknowledge your emotions because if you continue to suffer in silence, the next asshole that you magnetize will also be in the same energy as you. You both won't tell the story of how it is. Like, you negotiated the wrong things up front. Okay, give yourself a little bit of a pat on the back. You, again, thought you were doing the right thing. You said, hey, I'm in this kind of situation. I can't really give much of that, but I'm looking for a little bit of this. How does that sound to you? And the person said, okay, yeah, I got a little bit of this. I could consider doing that, but overall, sure, let's give it a try. Like, this was a very carefully negotiated relationship, but there was something you wanted. Whoa, whoa, this fell on the seven of cups. There was actually something that that you wanted more deeply, but because you don't have the energy to find true love, you're too exhausted to try and find true love, um, that uh, your energy was beyond confusing. Sure, on the surface, you, could, you, you spoke it out loud, you felt proud of yourself, you thought you were saying the right things, but because your energy was so confused internally that it energetically confused this other person. Like, that's why I'm having a difficult time. Like, you know, we can call them the prick because it might make you feel better, but in some ways I am a little bit sympathetic to this individual, even if they are really cut off from their emotions. They are being selfish about something. It's, it's not as though you're not wrong about it but we do hope there's the world like you're learning an important lesson so that you can learn how to talk about the actual important things right off the bat and feeling comfortable in your masculinized energy again you could be male female or non-binary i'm talking about your masculine energy your ability just to be vulnerable for a second knowing that if you speak your truth even if the person doesn't respond the way you wish or hope that they could you can just you know you can be a man about it and you're like okay sure fine i i respect that thanks for not wasting my time you're learning a lesson that's helping you not to invest too much time and energy in those initial dates just to only find out this is not the path that you were looking for seven of swords and i'm also going to get nine of pentacles like part of the reason why i'm being told right now you have to acknowledge how it is you actually felt and you also need to acknowledge you have a lot of pent up energies that actually do need to have a healthier release and again you need to know how to express this and express your inner truth to yourself if you are upset that somebody is canceling dates changing things around and not taking into consideration the time and energy resources that you need to accommodate for them and you continue to think that if you just tell them your needs that they're going to change you're in a codependent relationship you can let them know once that's totally fine and if you notice that you know their energy shifts and they seem a little bit more negotiable and they you know they're a little bit more honest great but this is someone that you could walk away from this is someone that you chose to continue to engage with the same cycle over and over and over again so there's something in here about this message to spare you of another hiccup to spare you of going back down the you know the, the road oh shit because we got the tower underneath there like you the divine's trying to prevent you from walking back into another burned down relationship to help prevent you from getting into a relationship that's exhausting before it gets exhausted so that also you don't have to deal with the humiliation of feeling as though what's wrong with me why can't i figure it out and there are answers within here to say you actually can figure it out and those answers do lie within you there is help but using um a fuck buddy as a therapist is extremely unwise and we got the we got the pope here like there's something about understanding your own personal authority and just recognizing what it is you're bringing to the table like if you're a single mom do you want to be a mother to your partner like are you a social worker or a therapist do you want to be helping like your lover with their mental health crises off when you're not even being paid for it like are you like you know a first responder and you're always having to be at the parties where people are injuring themselves while you're off duty like 
you're being asked to reconsider why you're investing into relationships that um, are exhausting you because you're not being compensated to, to deal with this. Like, sure, your kids, they totally will take all your money, all your energy and all your love. And for some sick, twisted reason, you still love them. But those are your children. Like, you know, you've made some conscious decisions with these little critters within your life. This also applies if you have pets. And this also just applies if you just care about people in general, especially when it comes to family and even elder care for some of you guys. Um, like, it's okay to grieve the loss because you're, I, 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 it's sort of like you're still stunned, but if you don't take the time to acknowledge how hurt you are and how it is that you got into this cycle within the relationship, the grief will pent up. The frustration will pent up. The self-loathing kicks in. How would I know? I wonder. I've been through this cycle a fuck ton of times and I've arrived back full circle. Like, you know, this is Saturn energy, like, especially for those of you who might be in a Saturn return, which, you know, can have a little bit of quarter life and midlife crisis. It's, it's fun. But um, I've gone through this cycle so I can bring back a message to you. You can do better, but you got to do it better by yourself. Like if you actually are putting out the energy and intention to the universe, like I need help. Like, I need to find help. I need to find the resources so that I can get help. The universe can hear your plea and will finally be able to magnetize the right people to you. But this is one of these things where you need to start making a conscious decision to no longer be somebody else's therapist, being somebody else's parent, being somebody else's punching bag, emotional punching bag. That's not what you signed up for in the first place. It's time for you to start thinking about how it is you wish to negotiate, how it is you want to be when it comes to love in general, so that you can stand up for what is important to you, but you can feel independent enough to know that you can walk away from people who just can't keep up with their commitments. As you are able to forgive yourself, forgive yourself, for going through this maybe one, two, three, five, 18 times. Okay, more, it's it's not a competition. <laughs> it's okay, Barry has your back. <laughs> as you're able to somehow, at some point, develop a wee bit of a sense of humor about the absurdity of your situation, acknowledging that you have desires that are unspoken and that you do not need to hide them behind a false mask realizing that if you just address what it is that you need, get the adequate rest you need, and to find yourself back into a pattern of joy, happiness, and healing, <laughs> how are you going to feel at the end of all of this? Eight of Cups in the reverse, King of Wands. Like, this is you actually exiting a pattern. Now, what's interesting, and it's weird that I see that because Eight of Cups walking away from something that's um yeah it's wa walking onto the nine of cups walking into your own sense of emotional independence but when it's in its reversal um sometimes it means you just keep coming back to the same thing you keep coming back to the same thing you keep coming back to the same thing take the root of berries it's okay that you've gone through this. It's okay you've cycled through it. Um, because this Hierophant, when it flew out, it actually fell onto the outcome. You're becoming a teacher. Like, the part of the reason that you've been engaged with this type of a relationship, especially on a patterning level, it really does have a lot to do with your, um, your overall purpose. The King of Wands, like knows how to get shit done, is able to follow his desires, even with this two of wands, just recognizing that the closer that the king of wands can get to his heart's desire, it helps stoke those flames so that he can actually go out there. And even if he does want to take the route that has, you know, beasts and dragons and sharks and whatever, like, it's, he's doing it intentionally so that he can learn more about himself. Like, Take the time to get to know yourself. Part of the challenge that you've been going through is that you didn't know who you were in the first place and you were hoping that interacting with somebody fun could help you understand something about yourself. 
Congratulations, you actually did the original intention. You are just being asked to remember, why did you get into the situation in the first place? Like, okay, if the sex was adequate for a little while, cool. Like, but we all know that only lasts for so long. There's actually something about taking the opportunity to learn where you're just like, oh, okay. So if I want to use like my mathy math brain and I can think about, okay, so if I'm not taking the time to actually decompress, to recognize, that there are certain things that I've been holding back that I'm not really being honest with myself like you know I'm just trying to put on a face and put on a brave face for everybody else around me I did mention elder care and um, those uh, situations can bring up a lot of pent-up emotions especially if you're getting frustrated with caregivers or especially if your parents are dealing with mental um, instability like you know it's very exhausting to try and keep up with where your parents are at I don't know why I've been picking up a lot of dementia Alzheimer brain fog energies as of late and that can be very exhausting like it's okay to acknowledge you're not doing well, but it's more important to realize that you actually do have resources available to you even if the resource is just YouTube it is a starting point um, You are being warned, and this isn't a bad thing. You may encounter a few other energies like this a few times over. Some of them will be sexual, some of them will be platonic, others it's going to be family. The Divine's trying to let you know where it is that you um, are missing, like trying to point out your blind spot, because once you start addressing that blind spot, you'll recognize your relationship dynamic with your parents. You'll better understand your relationship dynamic with your pets or your children, your coworkers, or just coming across people that just like, you know, oh, great you the wrong way emotionally. Like whoever, if this message makes sense for, like, you kind of understand that there is a really good lesson that you can glean from this, but you don't need to repeat the same mistake until you're ready to understand how you got into this situation in the first place. There's a lot of data that you can glean from within here. And for the the voice that I'm hearing where it's like, well, I just don't want to be alone, like da da la da la. Um legit. Um but consider your incentive that you need to be alone, even just to meditate 10 minutes a day. I know you just heard the 10 hours, just 10 minutes a day. Um, just being in your own energy and get to know yourself for the first time, get to know your inner girlfriend, um, because that part of you needs to be expressed. And unless you are able to pay a professional, like you're going to have to do some of this inward work yourself. And I don't want to discourage you. Like I said, I've been through this paradigm multiple times and for, you know, over a decade having to go through this type of paradigm without having access to therapy. Getting access to therapy was only something I was able to find later in life and it got really bad. Like, guys, it got really bad for me before I finally sought out help. In a lot of ways, I've gone through all of this bullshit to help you take a step back so that you can find an intervention for yourself sooner rather than later. Don't do what Barry's did. Barry's did all the drugs and did all the stupid things so that you don't have to. <laughs> okay, um, let's get some uh, guidance to kind of like, you know, wrap this baby up in a bow. Like if you are resonating with this and you're still here, you are a big person. You are the fucking grown up in this situation. Like I have a lot of mad respect for you right now. We got the card of the universe at the base. And this is just a confirmation. First of all, you are not the only one going through this. You are not the only one banging your head up against a wall, wondering why can't I even? The, um, the divine's asking you to take into consideration that, you know, this person or these persons that you're dealing with, you're all kind of going through the same energetic weather right now. And it's because a mass group of people um, are in a position where they can start releasing these karmic attachments and getting out of this habit of not addressing our mental well-being. Um, we have surrender. Like, 
there's a voice within you that might feel resentful about having to do this all over again. That is just your exhausted voice. Just tell that voice when it pops up, present yourself before me. That statement is neither helpful nor required. You are dismissed. Now please go and close the fucking door behind you. You're being asked right now, just tune into the thoughts, the ones that make you feel less than, the ones that give you that, um, you know, that hit within the chest. Start talking at them. Don't talk as them. There's a difference between talking at an energy versus talking as the energy. You right now need to differentiate yourself from, uh, exes from bad family habits societal habits just things that you just picked up along the way in the world as you were trying to learn how to thrive and survive like talk at those energies and then surrender them to the universe like imagine them in a purple flame like you know uh if you aren't familiar with the violet flame google that shit like there are reiki videos there are educational videos you could also just tune into it yourself because chances are if you have ever been um raised in a religion whether if your religion acknowledges reiki attunements or anything like that you have an attunement and that includes the violet flame of saint germain like if you have a karma of um fire this energy is being asked to be let go of because there are healing energies, healing angels that can absolutely help you. But if you're afraid of fire, if you're afraid of being burned alive, if you have any kind of family history or personal experience with fire, um, that needs to be released so you can bring in this angelic energy because to embrace this type of healing requires you to feel engulfed in cool purple flames purple flame purple rain like you know put on some prints if you think that's going to help you actually have a, a healing tool right here before you you're being asked to surrender whatever it is that you've been feeling lackluster about yourself because if at least you can get rid of the voice that's making you think you can't get the help at least when you tell to that is not a helpful statement, nor is it required. Now, please go and close the door behind you. You finally have yourself in the space to say, okay, I, I need help. Okay, I can actually get help. Help, I need somebody help. Not just anybody help. I need someone help. Oh my God, that's so amazing. You're freeing yourself from a nasty habit. You want to be loved, but it starts with you feeling that love for yourself. Like, take an example of the way you love your kids. Take an example from the way you love your pets. Maybe realize how it is you actually feel about your kids or how you actually feel about your pets. You're learning how to love and you need to be love. You know, you need to, you know, I was talking about talking at something versus as something just be as love be as the fiery flame be as who it is you actually fucking are because you're a beautiful individual you are worthy of true love as opposed to just a simple little tryst and you're worthy of feeling happy feeling joyful and feeling lovable i'm just saying Whew. well whoever you guys are. Damn, I sincerely hope that this helped. Wow, we needed this. Hail Mary. Wow. If you like my style, please make sure to like this video on the way out. And if you're kind of new here and you're kind of curious about the next message, I highly recommend that you subscribe. Wow. Until I see you guys at the next one, I'm wishing you peace, love, and all the berries. Bye.